Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in again. This time, I'm going to unlock a tainted character. And I'm going to get it into my thick skull. That's what we're doing. Because I keep forgetting. And it's annoying the hell out of me. Let's play as Azazel and go and unlock um, tainted Azazel. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, someone, and you know who you are, left a pretty good suggestion in a previous episode. That I should just ask chat GT, GPT or G -t -t -g -p -t -g chat whatever, the AI thing, to just give me questions of the day because I can't think of them. Fucking amazing uh, idea. So I asked it, hey, give me five questions of the day. And it did. Um, and uh, the one that I liked was, um, what's the best bit of advice that you've been given and how did it impact your life? I feel like that's a pretty, a pretty good one that has... A pretty good variety of potential answers, also. Azazel baby. I will take that damage. Azazel baby. Also, we might as well full card out of here, because why not? Oh! Oh, what? It costs zero? Although... Do you know what? That's kind of interesting. Um... Okay, I got a soul heart. Right. I like the idea of that. I'm going to take the damage here, because... The whole idea is, it's free, but you're going to get a cube of meat. <laughs> so it's not great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back after the boss and use it. I'm guessing I can only use it once. Uh, but that's a really, really cool idea. I'm guessing that's the whole purpose. Is like, hey, you can have one free soul heart, but you're going to have to get a cube of meat, you fool. Um, kind of like that idea. It's pretty cool. Check out a shop real quick. Need to do some more donating. It's been a little while. Um, shop items can be purchased even on affordable. Um, debt gives... Honestly, I'll buy that just because it gives you a credit card on pickup. Um, and we'll make our way. I'll, I'll keep the full card on me now so I can get out of the uh, thingy room. We'll go to our boss. Also, I just like the hat this gives. Ugh. This Fighting this guy with a Zazel is going to be gross. Mainly because of that attack there that I just got hit by. Okay, luckily, we've managed to uh, get him down to his second phase already. Also, yeah, the fact that this guy is very explosive doesn't help. Oh, can this... This dude just not have, like, the longest phase transition of all time with, like, so much invulnerability. Ow. Bad damage by me. We got the fucking corn kernel anyways. I hate this thing. It needs to go away. Heavily. Right. Back in here. Corn kernel. Goddamn hate the corn kernel. There you go. And then it pops. That's a super, super creative idea. I, whatever those machines are, I'm guessing they're added from um, either Fiend Folio or um, more, more likely Epiphany. Really fantastic idea. Just truly, truly a, a genius addition, I think. I'm going to go for the secret room here as well. And we get this. Rerolls items into items from random item pools with a random cost. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I like the idea behind that. So let's just take a little look here. Nah, okay, okay. We'll just take the credit card and we'll go. I almost forgot the credit card, I'll be honest. Right, let's go. We're gonna go and do a beast fight this time. Even though I've already got the beast mark as this guy. Still, I want to take the character unlocked. I like the idea behind this. Random cost, I'm guessing that means it could be money or it could be health. Uh, so, it's got some significant risk to it. We'll see what's worth re-rolling and what isn't. Because I'm sure there's going to be some some things that just aren't worth re-rolling for us. Oh, we got a, a joint copper bomb there. Okay, I'm going to stay the hell away from all that noise. Beautiful. Okay, we're doing fine. Bomb shopkeepers will drop red hearts and rarely burn hearts instead of coins. Um, heart chances increase with the quality of coins replaced. Honestly, that's not a bad idea because we can get red hearts later down the line as this character. And burn hearts would be quite nice. And then that would help with the associated random costs of our potential active item shenanigans here. We also got this. 3% chance to fire a tier that instantly freezes non-boss enemies. If you have more than 3 hearts, you take damage every 30 seconds. Um, each time the ring damages you, you get a 7% chance to... Okay. Eh. See, it's a quality 4. 
I don't think it is going to work very well with um, this old chap. I think it's just going to ruin our fire rate, right? We got the token bag. Okay. I like the token bag. Okay, re roll it into another quality four, which I can highly respect. Um. Hmm. I'm going to say, do I want to use my credit card there? I don't think so, right? A little worried about my current HP, but we'll, we'll deal with that as it comes. Copper Bomb, do your thing. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, that's that's fantastic too. We'll still go for uh, Angel Deal here though, um, and I will drop down here. Kind of interesting to note that, that, uh, that the bag there added spikes around it and said that it also costed one full heart container, but it didn't. Interesting. Also that range up, noticeable already. Fool or Hierophon. Um, hmm. I'll be honest, I don't fully understand this room. I'm going to see what this button does first. Whole lot of nothing. Right. Gotta be honest. Don't really get this room. Like, can I get... No, I can't get that. Okay, then. But mean... And we get puberty pills, now give damage. Um, it's kind of good, but it doesn't increase the chance of you getting a puberty pill, so still not great. Right, let's keep this going. But yeah, in terms of the question of the day, I don't know what it would be for me. It's kind of difficult. Like, I can't think of a specific instance of one bit of advice, but I think, like, generally, um, like, j just general advice that I've been given over the course of my life, especially, like, by my parents, is mainly about, like, how to correctly handle money. Um, I feel like so many of the people that I know, uh, so many of my friends and, and just, like, people in my life that I know, are so ridiculously terrible with money that it's kind of baffling. Um... And, um, like, I, I, I got quite lucky, I'll be honest. I stayed at home during university, which meant that my rent was a lot cheaper. I still did pay rent. My parents still made me pay rent, which is completely and utterly fair. Um, but I paid, obviously, a lot less than I'd pay if I was living in halls. Um, we'll re-roll this into... Ooh. So, can I pick that up or not? I mean, it's not worth it, I don't think. So, I don't need to. Um, oh god, I got absolutely bopped around there. I need some red hearts, like, real bad so I can start trading some HP away here. Um, yeah, uh, so many people are just so bad with money, and, like, yeah, I got pretty lucky in the fact that I, um, stayed at home, so I was able to, like, leave university with, like, three or four grand in my bank account, which meant that when I moved out, I didn't need a job immediately, and I was able to get a reasonable apartment rather than starting somewhere really shitty. So I was definitely lucky in that department, and I, I won't deny that fact. But, okay, we've got this. Um, I think for right now, honestly, um, we just duplicate a credit card, right? Yeah. Honestly, duping a credit card every floor might just be the play. Um, but yeah, like... That definitely was a good starter for me, but I still think, like, I've learned and been taught how to properly, like, handle money. And, like, for example, apologies to anyone out there that does this. And I, I realize there is certain circumstances in which it makes sense, but buying things on finance is one of the dumbest things you can do ever, in my opinion. If you can't afford something, don't fucking buy it. Simple as. You're going to get yourself in debt if you buy things on finance. There is certain situations in which it makes sense, I'll be honest. Um, like, there is obviously going to be times where buying stuff on finance is not a terrible idea. Um, also, we can re-roll that into Mum's Razor, which is actually pretty good. 
I'll take that. Um, confusing cost aside. Also, we can probably donate now that we just don't need money for this entire run. Um, yeah, like, there is definitely circumstances in which finance makes sense. But, in my opinion, for the vast majority of scenarios, if you're buying something on finance, you're doing something wrong. You can't afford the thing outright, which means that you can't afford it. Like... If you, if you, for example, I've, I've had a, a lot of people buy, like, cars on finance, which I think is one of the most colossally stupid things you can do. Um, but, um, I've had a lot of friends and, and people that I know buy cars on finance. And it's like, you're paying, like, 200, 300, whatever pound a month, or how, however much you're paying a month. But what if you lose your job? Like, if you, if you just out of the blue lose your job, then you've got like ridiculously high payments to pay along with all your other bills and rent that you can't get out of for in a lot of times not not everyone but in a lot of times for a car that you didn't really need it's just a needlessly expensive car that you didn't really need that you bought on finance because you couldn't afford and it's just yeah i just think yeah that 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 for me is one of the big things that i'm always like like, I'll have people in my life or that I've met before that, that are, like, constantly struggling for, um... Oh, so I just get a token out of a chest? Uh, that are constantly struggling for, um, for, fi for like, money. Um... Well, I don't really need to dupe a credit card on this floor, do I? There isn't much need. I guess... I guess I'll dupe my trinket and try and get a golden one. Ah, unfortunate. Um, because I only need to dupe one pair for law here. Um, yeah, uh, and they're, like, constantly, like, unable to, like, go out on nights out. Or, like, they get to the end of the month and they're, like, scraping by. But yet, they earn the very, like, they earn very, very similar amounts to, that I do. In a very similar job. And, yeah, do very similar things. And I'm like, how? <laughs> like, you... <laughs> You gotta be fucking around with your money if that's the case. I know I know it's not like I, I I don't know everyone's ins and outs. There's probably some things behind the scenes for some people that I don't know about, and I can't judge them for that. That's just how life is. But a lot of times I'm just like, dude, just like be more careful with what you do with your money. <laughs> Cause they've got like six things on finance. Oh, come on now. I mean this is like kind of free. Um Sadly, nothing. I don't think I need the angel deal. Although, I could, I could actually kill him just because I've got golden bombs and um, it'll uh, give me more angel chance, I guess. So, why not? Get away from me, fool. Okay. Um, this floor's pretty much done, I think. Right, to the next one. Yeah, and th 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 there's a lot of other things as well, like just buying too much, like eating out too much, buying too much takeaway. I think I think a lot of people, I, I, I genuinely think that a lot of people just think that it's sort of the not really that thing came up from under a rock to get me there. That's kind of rude. Um, I genuinely think just a lot of people are like grown up, uh, like brought up with the idea that living paycheck to paycheck is like the norm and it's fine and that like, Ending the month with almost no money is, like, is normal and acceptable. And it's like, some people just can't help it. Like, I I, I mean, more so, like, their living situation is, is like, just that. It, it breeds that. Especially, like, in America and stuff. Like, your guys are fucked. <laughs> things are, things are, bad things are going down over there. But, yeah, when when there's, there's clear, clearly people that I know, like, shouldn't be in that situation, have the easel, easily have the means not to be. And they do because they're like, they've bought like five different things on finance that they don't really need and they eat out like four times a week. I'm just like, ah, oh. it's like, it's your life. Live it how you want to live it. But you're making your life so much harder than it has to be. It's, it's kind of crazy to me. And yeah, that's definitely like advice that I've got throughout my life that I'm like super, super, super grateful for. Um, my parents sort of gave me that understanding. Um of like paying bills like i i also know a, a good amount of friends that um that 
wh when they went to university, they stayed at home too. Um, they lived lived at home, but their parents didn't charge them any rent. But also, they were past eighteen, so their parents were no longer getting any child support from them. And I I just find that like I feel like as a parent, you really should prepare your kid for the inevitability of having to pay bills. And I'm not saying that, like, in every situation... Oh, no cost. Beautiful. Um, I'm not saying, saying that in every situation you should be, like, charging your kids for everything. And it's up to parents if they have the money and want to do that. But I, I, I feel like the, the people that, like, were, were given no responsibility in terms of costs at home, like, because they lived at home during uni or for whatever reason, kind of don't really get money. <laughs> they don't really understand it now. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of a, a little bit baffling to them on how to use it properly. I'm sounding really judgmental here, I realize. Um, dude, we must just be having like an increased chance of tokens appearing as well. I don't even know what to use that one for. I guess I could take this pill and see what it is. It's a range down, lovely. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to spend, like what to grab with these tokens, I'll be honest. Like I said, I could just keep fishing for a, a golden trinket, but I doubt a golden version of this trinket even does anything, so I'm, I'm kind of like, who cares? Ooh, now that is a good shout. Um, pick that up. And then... We do have a star credit about good. Let me go through here. I realise I don't actually need money. But it's just like free real estate, right? Um, bomb you. No burn hearts. Heck you, sir. Heck you. Oh, ball sacks on a bridge. Why didn't I fucking do the eternal heart? You goose. You absolute goober. Why did I not think to do the goddamn eternal heart? For fuck's sake. Like the most obvious thing I should have done. What a stupid. What a stupid. Stupid head. I am an ass hat. And I hate myself for it. This is probably a secret room here, right? Hey, yes, indeed. Eh? The box is probably a reroll, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm going to bomb through here to save myself some time, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone out there in the, in the in the comments section that is probably in the exact situation that I'm describing and is either deeply offended by it or um, something along those lines, but that's just how I feel. Ah, nil pasta, come on now. I mean, it is a completely random reroll. Wait a minute. I just had a little brain, a little a little a little brain moment. Can I use credit cards to get devil deals for free? Because I think I can, right? Which means that when I re-roll into a random cost, I can just get rid of the cost. I should be making far more credit cards when I have the availability to. Okay. Okay, baby. This is... This is heated up a little bit. Oh god, how did that not hit me? Wow. I got very lucky there. That's a lot of hearts. Good old speed up. Yeah, so I think that actually this is kind of cracked. And I can do some really crazy stuff here. I think this is kind of crazy. My god. This is a very intriguing run. I really like this dice. Dice are a really cool idea. Honestly, something wicked. One of the best mods out there. If you're not using it already, it's available privately on my Discord. Go join it and grab the mod. It's good stuff. It will be publicly available in 2062, most likely. Um, honestly, I have no idea when it'll be public avail publicly available, but it's been in dev for like a year at this point, so I'm betting on either never or like in like six years time. <laughs> But, regardless, it's a fucking great mod. Right, we got that ready. Okay, so we did, we've did. we got one of these now, so let's uh, 
duplicate our card. Boom. Bow. Good, good, good. I'll probably do that a few times throughout the floor. Oh, God. I wonder, do, do these do these big rooms count as double for, like, the token and, like, the bags and stuff? Where it says clear this many rooms. Or does it just count as one room? Because it counts for two active charges, so... I'm not 100% sure. I would think it only counts as one room, to be fair. I might be wrong. Right, so this is something I, I probably want to re-roll. So that's fast bombs. So I, I think I can credit card to get that. I mean, I don't want that, I'll be honest. Um, it's a little bit of a dookie roll there, unfortunately. We'll keep it moving. Now that's pretty lovely. That's an active, unfortunately. Diplopia for 35. I'd get two soul hearts out of it. Two charged babies. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Diplopia me. And it gave me all of that. Cool. Credit card. a heart. D7. Adjustment's pretty good here. Got literally all that money back. <laughs> nice. Okay. Like I said, things are going well. A little bit more thinking to be done on this run, but it's all good. Grab that. That was a really dumb bit of damage there by me. But yeah, I, I gotta say... Those machines might be one of the most creative things that I've ever seen added to Isaac in modding. I genuinely love them. They're, they're clearly placed with intent and purpose. They're not random. Um, they're, they're clearly made to be reasonably balanced. Um, so they're like, like, like them, like a diplopia is amazing, but you're only going to get one extra like heart and one extra item. And it does cost you quite a lot. 35 is a pretty steep ask. So I think it's I think it's in a really good place. I've gotta be honest. It's just whoever made the rooms with those and whoever designed the idea for that, big, big props, because you have done a marvelous job of creating something truly unique, which is very hard in Isaac. Most things that get added with modding are normally just extensions of existing ideas. It's very rare that you find something truly unique. Which is not a bad thing, um, mind you. I don't I don't mind seeing extensions onto ideas that already exist. Um can you pop your head up, sir? Good, good. Now that is something we want. Um, I think I'll just take the black hearts, right? Now we want, we definitely want to be trying to get a golden version of this bad boy. Consumable wise, we're doing really well as well. We're getting little batteries everywhere as well from our uh, double battery buddies, I think. Beautiful stuff. I think we've still got an item we want to re-roll, right? There's another token. Um, yeah, let's duplicate the credit card again. Just in case. Got an extra one there now. Right. Back over this way. A lot of back and forth here. Obviously, ain't making boss rush, but I'm just more worried about the potential enjoyment I'm having on this run. One moment. Right, let's keep it moving along. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll re-roll that again. We got bacon grease this time, which honestly isn't great, but I will just take it. Yeah, that. this is such an insanely cool pairing of items. The, the tokens for infinite credit cards plus this dice is such an intriguing idea. Such a, such a cool way of, of utilizing two things. This is one of the things that I love about Binding of Isaac and especially modding is that there's so many things that can happen. So many combinations of effects and, and whatnot that 
mod like in and, and like even things that are completely unintentional like these two mods having a specific interaction that it's just there's just endless amounts of ways to play the game um and it, it, there's always new stuff coming it's just it's, i just find it crazy i just find it so insane that the stuff like this that can happen that i've never had happen before after this many hours and these two completely unrelated mods creating this one really, really cool interaction completely accidentally. It's just so interesting and cool. I really love it. That's why Isaac is a very good game. And it's why like, I'm, I'm still not bored of it after all this time. We've only got one credit card at the minute. Got to make sure not to use it. Consumer wise, we're doing really well as well. I think that's just due to Sackhead, to be honest, more than anything. So many trinkets about. Wow. Little battery thing there. Still don't really know how to use these. I really should figure it out. Let's reroll both of these. Uh, we get ourselves Red Cap, which is yet another um, item from Something Wicked. Picking up a Soul Heart with an empty Red Heart container will convert it to Red Hearts at two times the rate. Two max heart, um, hearts. Heals the player for three hearts on pickup. Pl Why would it say plus 0 0.8 range down? I don't know if that's how the base game does it, but that's a strange way of saying it. It's going to lower my range, but I'm going to take it anyways. I'm going to pay the cost. Intriguing. Then, yeah, I guess I'll take you. Why not? Now, let's see if we can get you to pay out. Not looking likely so far. Oh, no, we got it. Hey, prank cookie as well. Pretty heckin' good. Right. We are good to go, baby. Strange. It <laughs> picks up that heart and it unhealed me. Right. Activate to store charge from your active item. Activate again to recharge it. Can be used to overcharge active items. Becomes corroded on floor start after recharging an active item. Corroded batteries explode after a short delay. So if I pick this up and then I go... It just gives me some charges. Okay. It's fine. I say, I never use them, and they're probably pretty useful. Right, um, I think we just want to go to the next floor here. We're, we're going to be getting a token very shortly upon arriving on the next floor. Like, probably within the, the first few rooms. Nice. Oh. Still one of my very favourite noises to hear. Go shoot the whoop in there. I guess I'll go for it. Because we've got a lot of money that we don't need. And, um, really? Okay, there you go. And we can get whatever's underneath it. And then re-roll them. Game. You dick. 4.5 volt probably isn't very good. Um, I think this is good for us right now, to be honest. It's just free. 4.5 volt, I don't think we need. Oh, yeah, that fire is sexy. Wow. We do need the, uh, the full card here. Another one of the trinkets we already have. Right, um, let's just go and grab that, and then that. I'll come back for you, fool card. I promise I won't forget, even though I definitely will. Right, keep moving. Not a big fan of this. Oh, that was terrible. Go ahead. Oh, 
slightly annoying rooms here. I'm liking my uh, my multicolored brimstone beam though. It's very lovely. It's very beautiful. Oh, I see you. Oh, well, I'm getting hit left, right, and center at the moment. Not doing well on the hit front. Yeah, it seems like the bad apple didn't really have its negative effect impactors at all, really, which is very nice. That's pretty good. I think I'll just take that. I know it's slight tears down, but it's a good, good, good damage. -er. Right. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Battery there if we need it. Guess we could reroll the shop items, whatever they may be. And you're going to pop out your little ghosty friend somewhere. There he is. I guess add one extra key to my 31 current amount of keys. Didn't want that. Give me that back. Hey, give me that back. Oh, hello. This is a very odd room. I mean, luckily quite easy, but wouldn't have expected that. There's another token. So we go drop, drop. Grab, grab. Grab, grab. And we will make this free. And I think we'll re-roll it into Monster Manuel. No, thank you. Where was that battery charge? Just up here. Okay. Playing it slow and methodical. We're getting there. We're getting there. A lot of fun, this room. Um, let me just do this room here. Because, yeah, I guess it's going to be a single room. It's going to be an easy room. And this time we get that, which is actually fine. Um, we do have another credit card available to us. So we could credit card this. Yeah, let's credit card it and grab it. And then we'll go back and grab our other credit card. I'm loving this. This is such a unique run. How to spice up an Azazel run 101. Wow. I think Azazel's going to be all dull and humdrum, but... You ain't ready for this. Like, how do I even title a run like this? This is, like, just one of the craziest things. Also, I think um, June, which is the developer for Something Wicked, is going to be pretty excited to see her dice in the thumbnail, as well as it really performing very well and doing a lot. I need my fool card, don't I? Honestly, I'm not traveling all the way back there. Just give me a fool card. Um, there you go. I'm going to have to walk all the way back up here to get that now anyways. Didn't really save me any time at all, so fool on me, I guess. Easy bangers. Take that. Yeah, I'm going to have to walk all the way back to get that fucking credit card anyways. So I didn't save myself any time at all there. I also haven't dropped a trinket yet, which is annoying. Uh, I, I've got trinkets to drop though, that's fine. Right, um... Gimme, gimme. Then we can go back all the way over here. All the way up this way. Over here. Drop that in there. And then we've got another AAA battery um, over this way. So, not a big loss. We get to keep the same trinket. We just have two of them now is all. Do, 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 do. Right, grab, grab. And we are out of here. Definitely a longer run than I was expecting, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. 
and bow. See how quickly we get our first token. It probably is going to be fairly late because we got it fairly late into the last floor. We'll check this out. We don't know what the other item is, so we'll, we'll get that on the way back out. Is this an enemy? No. That is a burn heart, though. I like that. I don't know how I'm going to fare against the beast, to be honest, here. Black Candle is something that we definitely want. Uh, we don't have a second credit card quite yet, though. So we'll hold off. Yeah, tokens are definitely, like, worthy of being a quality four item thing. Because it is really powerful. The ability to duplicate anything. Ow. Okay, there's my token. Grab that. Don't grab anything else. Grab that. And we can go boom, 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 boom. And go back. Save ourselves some dollar dollar. Credit card. Double our money. I guess double our money and then donate. Why not? It's been a while since I did a good amount of donating to this machine. I don't need any of this money anymore. Oh, of course. It jams very early on. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? We are going to have to give up our credit card very shortly, but we're not going to be getting items anymore, so it's not a big deal. Right. Here we go. Make sure to check our item room on this floor and the next one. It's gone. Just get over it. Ow. Okay, I think I'm going to space bar, see what we get, and then I'm going to just use our last credit card to get this free. Uh, because we just don't need a credit card anymore. Ow. Getting the hell out of this room. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we've been to the item room here. Go to the next floor. Make sure we go to the item room on this floor as well. Health-wise, we're looking real fine and dandy, but damage-wise, I just don't know if we're going to cut it for the, the beast fight. But we don't actually need to win, so it's not a big worry. Let's need to find my item room. Yeah, we do actually need to win, because we're going to have unlocked Tainted Azazel regardless. I don't know what I'm going to use my tokens on at this point, I'll be honest. Ow. Ow. There it is. I suppose I could use it on the cracked keys and just generate more cracked keys to... Use on walls. Try and generate red rooms, I guess. Ooh, you are probably well worth my time right now. Give me Sci-Fly. Yes, not. I guess we can reroll this another time. That'd just be a big speed upgrade, really, unfortunately. I don't think it'd do anything else for us. I suppose it could let us skip all the rooms. Wait, is that worth three soul hearts? I'm gonna say yes, it is. Gets us up to max speed and just means we can skip through the rooms. I realize that means we get less tokens. We don't really need them, so. Yeah, these rooms can be problematic, so. We just skip them. Light inside you. Cleanse your soul. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking being able to just be like, nope, I don't care about y'all. 
Don't mind if I don't. Beautiful. <laughs> Speedy boosties. Ain't gonna deal with none of y'all. Those big clotty boys. Oh god, this room is uh, a little bit of a no-go for this strategy. Okay, we made it. We is at the beast fight. Let's see how it goes. One sec. I should have just paused the recording there while I typed that message, but what's done is done. Stapler. That's fucking great. <laughs> also a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces would also be really good uh, for tokens. What? What? Do I already have Turn to Zazel unlocked? I didn't think I did. I'm terrible at unlocking Turned characters. I told you. I told you I'm terrible at it. I thought I th I thought the first time we came here. Really? Double holy shits. Should have saved one of those. Oh well. Um, I really thought the first time we came here, we didn't get the red key. Oh, we got bed bug for sleeping. That's kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I thought the first time we came here, we didn't get the red key. And therefore, we completed the beast without getting um, a character unlock. Because I haven't played as Tainted as is on the channel yet, right? I don't think I have. Maybe I just completely missed that I had him unlocked this entire time. Maybe all of you knew that as well. Maybe, I, like... You're just sitting here watching. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Why am I moving so much? That was a terrible idea. Yeah. More for me, I guess. But regardless, this run was hella fun. So I don't mind. It'd be funny if you could just, like, walk out the doors. Because the, uh, the curious. Don't do your spinning attack. You know you want to, but you know you shouldn't. We're so close to being done here. Hey, you didn't bother. Lovely. Lovely. Right, let's get this done. I'm such an idiot. Lob bomb. Oh, that didn't really work. I tried to lob it with some momentum. Didn't really happen. Also, our range really isn't great for this either. I did not really think about. I got a pill from that? I got a power pill. What? I was trying to make him bleed and it just wasn't working. This has been a very bad fight thus far. He's pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. There you go. Okay. Ow. I might die. It's fine, though. We achieved nothing this run, so that's kind of fine, I guess. I guess that's just how it's got to be. Sometimes you achieve nothing. Apart from a really, really cool run. I'm sure a few of you were screaming from the very start. Hey, what are you doing? You've already unlocked this guy. My memory serves me poorly. 
Oh god. And stop playing it so risky, but I kind of want to. You can kind of throw bombs with this guy if you go, if you like brimstone right as you bomb. There you go, kind of worked. Oh, I hit myself there. He's going to sleep. He's tired. We've only got one heart left. We do have a revive, so. Damn it. Okay. The revived version of me is much better. Holy, I didn't even think about this. Oh, wow. Whatever you do, don't destroy the poop. A lot of damage output on him so far. At least he came back from that side as well. The, the bad apple shots are definitely ruining me right now. They're certainly playing a part now and it's not good. We're on one heart remaining. Can we do the beast with this one heart? I'm gonna guess no. Wait, what? Excuse me. The oh wait, the aura, the, the poop aura is still in effect. The actual just visual aura is gone though. Try to stay close to that poop. Don't destroy my poop! Don't you do it, sir! Yay! Unfortunately, now, with this side of things, not so easy. Also, I can't see myself. It's gonna be difficult. Yes! The holy poop! I can't believe it. It's been so good to me. Okay, can't believe we won that. That's kind of crazy. Either way, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. I did indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.